hello everyone my name is Atik Zaman and in this quick video I'm going to show you how we can quickly and very easily install WebGot and WebWolf through docker in our local operating system so I am using Ubuntu so whatever your operating system is you can just use this uh, docker container of got and wolf to install web got and web wolf on your local operating system okay so you first what is the prerequisite for this uh, is you need to install docker first okay so when you have installed docker then you can just use this command to install web got and web wolf at a, in, in just a single this command okay so in the by pulling this uh, web got and web wolf repository from docker hub uh, this is all all it okay so you do don't need to configure any anything because all the configurations all the dependencies are pre-installed in this docker container so web wolf and web god will be up and running with just single click okay so what i have to do is just copy this command and open up your terminal so in ubuntu you use control alt command to open the terminal and just paste this command here so when you will run this command the docker will pull this repository from docker hub in your local computer so i'm not going to run this command because i have already installed my uh, i have already pulled this repository here in my ubuntu operating system so i will just going to show you uh, so to in order to list all the uh, docker containers that you have pulled you need to run this command sudo docker ps so ps means you will list only running containers so because i am going to uh, show my all containers which are uh, not running or in running state all so i need to mention a dash a flag here in order to list down all the containers that i have pulled from uh, docker hub so i will run this command type my password and you can see here all my containers that i have pulled from docker hub are listed here okay so here is the uh, uh, this uh, docker container that i have pulled from this repository using this command okay this is it so now in order to run the web got and web wolf <coughs> what you have to do you have to use a command so if you go to official web repository of web got so you will find a command here to run this container so you just copy this command okay and you have to run this uh, let me clear this first okay so i will just paste that command here uh, it's saying i need to specify the permission so make sure to add the sudo command in the beginning so this is the command because when you will pull your uh, uh, your container from by using this command after this command you need to run this command in order to run the container so this is the two step process first you pull the container then you run this container and everything is up and running so let me just show you okay so when i will run this command okay uh, let me run this command and you will see okay uh, so let me clear you one thing uh, before running this command make sure that no uh, make sure that no any other application is using port 8080 and port 9090 because if any other application is using these ports you will not able to access your web god and web wolf so make sure to uh, stop all the applications that are using these ports so as you can see here uh, my so docker container is running and all my application will be up and running uh, my web got and web so let me just uh, uh, let me just see the final message of started so we can access in our browser so when you will install your web got and web wolf through docker you can access it in your container so finally as you can see here i, I have received this message started start web got okay in 34.309 second so our this container is up and running and now i can easily access in any browser so what to in order to access that web got what i need to type is localhost colon 8080 if i'm going to access my uh, web got so i need to specify colon 8080 forward slash web got so make sure to uh, make your first letter W is capital and G is capital so web got and hit enter button and as you can see uh, now my container is up and running and I can easily access my web got so as you can see this is very simple and quick way 
through which we can access our web board so let me just uh, register here so first you need to register them uh, yourself here then you can sign in so I am directly signing by registering so you will also be uh, uh, directly sign into web uh, when you register so now you can access all the lessons listed here of web so in order to access the web wolf what we need to do is we need to specify localhost colon 9090 as a port and then we have to specify here web wolf okay and hit enter and as you can see here i can access web wolf here and make sure that whatever username and password you have used in web got you provide the same username and password here in web wolf because you will receive some emails from web got and you will receive some files from there so incoming requests from there so make sure that web wolf is integrated with your web code so i will click on sign in so i am now logged into web wolf so as you can see it is very easy to access your web code and web wolf through docker containers and uh, before this uh, i have tried using installing web code uh, directly in my ubuntu operating system but i have got a lot of dependencies issues java lab java dependencies issues and lot of others so make sure you install your web got and web through, through docker container and just using two commands first command is just pull this uh, this repository web got forward slash got and wolf from docker hub and then run this container through this command docker run dash p 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 and something so all this command is here so you can copy this command to run this so this is just two step process to up and run your web code and web okay thank you